Okay, so in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create our um, orthogonal fractional contrast codes in Jamovi. So this is, um, I think, going to be video four in a series of videos demonstrating how to create sets of orthogonal fractional contrast codes and then how to actually use them to analyze your data. So in the first video, I demonstrated this uh, one-way ANOVA using this um, example data set where we had four groups. Um, they each had a score on this dependent variable. So um, what we're going to do now is take what we created in the previous two videos and actually create them as variables in our data set. So we'll start with, so just kind of just so you know, um, we're going to start with scenario one. And we are going to focus on creating these uh, three contrast codes in our data set. Okay, so each of these will end up being different variables in our data set. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use as my um, guide for creating these variables. Okay, so, and I, I highly recommend this. I don't recommend you um, going directly into creating variables in Jamovi without doing this first step. If these videos were like 20 minutes long demonstrating that this was orthogonal and fractional and then when you made them fractional they retained their the criteria for orthogonality so this is a very important first step so after you go through this work to make sure your codes are meet all of those criteria and they're fractional then you're ready to create them in Jamovi or whatever stats package you're using like SPSS or whatever um, okay so we're gonna use this as our guide so let's go to Jamovi um, and here's how we're going to do it. So there's probably a couple different ways to create new variables and do this. This is the best way I know how currently. Uh, so in Jamovi, in the data area, I'm going to double click the new column. And it's going to open up a couple different options. And we're going to select new transformed variable. And so what we're going to do here is give this the name of our first contrast code that we're creating. So we're going to call this group 4 v other. That's, this is where this comes in handy. We've already named these uh, codes. So group for the other. Group for the other. Um, you can give a description if you want. I'm just going to skip it for now. Um, so the next thing you need to do is provide Jumovi with a source. So essentially, which variable are we going to use to create this new one? So we are going to use the original group variable, this one right here. Okay. Um, and then using transform, I don't know, I don't have good words to describe this, but we're essentially going to create a new quote unquote transform for each of these variables. Okay, so we're going to create a new transform. This is going to be called transform one. Um, we're just going to leave that name. I don't see a purpose of switching the name yet, but so we'll just leave it as transform one. It's kind of just an arbitrary name. The more important stuff is down here. So I'm going to click this add recode condition. Okay. So bear with me here. This is where uh, we're going to really be translating our contrast codes uh, into Jamovi. So let's go back to our contrast codes uh, and check in here. So we're focusing in first on this code right here. So this is all we're doing right this second, since this first one. So what we're going to tell Jamovi is that if the person, if the participant is in group 1, on this new variable, we're going to give them a negative 0.25. If their participants in group 2, we're going to give them a negative 0.25. If they're in group 3, we're going to give them a negative 0.25. If they're in group 4, though, we're going to give them a 0.75. Okay? So that's all we're really going to be doing in this first, uh, for this first variable. So given, I try to try to make this as easy as possible. Um, but uh, let's actually, let's just do it the long way since we're doing this together. There are, there are some shortcuts in Jamovi that you can use. Maybe I'll demonstrate a couple of them. Um, but uh, let's do it the long way. So group one, let's just start with group one. We're going to go through all the groups. So group one, we're going to give them a negative 0.25. Okay, so let's go back. So if source, we've, we've already designated source as the group variable. So if source equals one, you do two equal signs here, we are going to then use negative 0.25. Okay, so if they're in group one, we're going to give them a negative 0.25. So 
So we're going to do this for each group. Okay, so if they're in group 2, we are going to give them negative 0.25. Again, because that's what we've designated in our code. Group 3, we're also going to do negative 0.25. So add a new recode. If group 3, negative 0.25. And then finally, for group 4, we're doing 0.75. So add recode equals 4, 0.75. Boom. That's it. So the shortcuts I was saying is you can kind of get into like just giving some of the codes and then all the rest. You could just say, if anything else, give it a zero. I found that that can be a little, um, it can potentially lead you down the wrong path. So let's say somebody's missing, they're not in any group or anything like that, then they'll still get a zero, for example. So I like to be as specific as possible. So like only the groups who have a one on the group variable. I want them to be coded as this. So you can maybe use shortcuts if you're comfortable, but to be as safe as possible, I would just go the long way and do this for each group. So, um, okay, so that's the first uh, transform. So we'll close this, and now we're done with our first contrast code. So we can go bring it up. And then what you'll see is that if participants are in group one, they have a negative 0.5, which is what we want. If they're in group two, they have a negative 0.5 on this new variable. If they're in group three, they have a negative 0.25 on our new variable. But if they're in group four, they have a 0.75. Okay, so this should start to look like, are these variables that we end up creating over here should end up starting to look like our contrast code table. Okay, so let's make our next variable. So we're gonna call this group three v group one group two. Okay, so that's going to be the, na the name of our next contrast code that we create. So double click, transform, let's give it our name that we get came up with in a previous video, group 3, v, group 1, group 2. Let me just make sure that's the name. Yes, group 3 versus group 1, group 2. Again, I've created these, I did all this work in previous videos, so if you don't know what you're looking at here, go back to the previous videos and watch and look to see how I created these codes. Okay, so we've given our name. Okay, so let's go back to Jamovi. Source variable, again, is going to be group. And now we're going to create a new quote-unquote transform. Okay, so that's, for whatever reason, that's our transform for our first one. We're not going to use that. We're going to do something new. So we're just going to, this is going to be group. Uh, transform to just leave the name it's arbitrary I don't really I'm not yet maybe there is some functionality to this that I'm not aware of um, but we're gonna leave it as transform to so we're gonna hit add recode so we're gonna kinda go through this for each group again so if we go back to our contrast codes now we're focusing in on this code here if they're in group one we're gonna give them a negative 0.333 and we can uh, maybe leave it at three decimal places, okay? So we're gonna go negative 0.333 if they're in group one. So go back to Jamovi equals one. So if they're in group one, we're gonna do negative 0.333. Okay, what about group two? Group two, same thing. So group two, negative 0.333. So add a recode equals two equal signs. So if they're in group two, negative 0.333. Okay, what about group three? So let's go back. Group three, we're going to do 0.667. Okay, so we're going to just cap it at three decimal places, 0.667. So go back. So group three, add a recode. Group three, it's going to be positive 0.667. Okay. And then finally, what about group four? Group four is gonna have a zero. Add recode equals four, zero. Okay, so now we're done with this code. So close this. This one is done now. So if we close this, now we'll see, we could just double check if they're in group one or group two, they should have negative 0.333. If they're in group three, they should have 0.667, they do. If they're in group four, they should be zero. Perfect. All right, we're making our way along here. All right, 
just so you can see the variable names. So these are showing up as new variables in our data set. Okay. Um, so now let's make our th third and final contrast code for this set of contrast codes. So we're going to do a new transformed variable. So what are we going to call this? We're going to call it group 2 versus v group 1. Group 2 v group 1. Okay. Our source variable is again going to be group. And we're going to use a, create a new transform for this. Okay. So let's go and see what we're going to give each group. So we are interested in this code right here, this third code. So if the participants are in group one, we're going to give them a negative 0.5 on this new variable. So add a recode equals one, negative 0.5. Okay, what about the group two? Group two, we're going to give them a 0.5. Add a recode equals two, positive 0.5. Okay, so what about group three? So group three and group four are going to be zeros. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those uh, together here. So group three, zero, add a recode, group four, zero. Okay, and that is our final contrast code for our first set of orthogonal fractional contrast codes. And you could see them all right here. So these are our new codes. You kind of just, again, you can compare or make sure that they're correct, like in group. This one is comparing group 2 and group 1. So group 1 needs a negative 0.5, which it does. Group 2 has 0.5. And then the other groups are set to 0. Perfect. OK, so that is. Our first set, I'm going to create a new video for the second set just so this video isn't so long. So I'll come back in our the next video and just demonstrate the same process for the second set of contrast codes that we created together.